Nam yo honing get on, 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 nam yo honing get on. Hi, I'm Margaret, and this is the channel where we take Buddhist philosophy and practice and apply it to the problems and goals of everyday life. So our topic today is why do some goals take so long? I've received a number of questions about why goals haven't been achieved quickly and easily, and sometimes not at all. So in this video, I'm going to explore some of those reasons. The first thing to realize is that chanting is not magic. If you chant for something for 30 minutes a day, but then take no action toward it, there's not going to be any result. The universe works through us, but we have to do our part. Then when we take action, the universe can create the connections that we need. For example, a young woman told me she was chanting for her purpose, but the universe simply wasn't responding. So I asked her, what ideas have you gotten? Well, she'd gotten an idea to take a course at a local community college, but then she said, I don't think I'd like it. I told her, you'll never know whether you would like it or not unless you try it. Now, what was happening here? She was dismissing the idea given to her in response to her chanting question. Then her fears came up, which were probably the reason she was dismissing the idea to begin with. Her husband, who really wanted her to get off dead center, went with her to sign up for the course. One course became three, and then became two years in a different, cheaper state where she could get her nursing degree. She had found her purpose, but only when she took action based on the answer she received, but had been trying to dismiss due to her fears. If you aren't getting results, you want to reflect honestly and see if you're rejecting ideas that you have gotten. The universe speaks to us quickly. And that first answer to your question is probably the one you're looking for. Now, sometimes we might not realize that we're receiving answers because right away after that first response, the rational mind will come thundering in with judgments and reasons about why that first idea might not work. And we've been trained to listen to that part of ourselves. But when working with the universe, you're always dealing with the realm of possibility. But we've been trained throughout our lifetime by parents and teachers to look at our circumstances to determine what's possible, not to take action based upon faith in the universe. But that world of possibility requires faith to move ahead despite how our circumstances look when we can't see how we're going to get there, where we're hoping to go. Now, we all know that in this practice, we often chant to overcome the challenge of not seeing a path forward or to overcome obstacles on that path. And it's having to surmount these that push us to grow and do our human revolution, which creates the steps forward towards enlightenment. As we've discussed, our life is our curriculum and we attract the people and circumstances that will help us grow spiritually when we learn the lessons presented through them. But we do have to be willing to take on that challenge. If we're not willing, we're apathetic, we say, I'll do it tomorrow, nothing much is gonna happen. Spiritual practice will show us the pathway to getting where you want to go. We know that first you set your goal, your vision. Then we're taught to make a determination. And it's when you make that determination that you're going to do this no matter what. At that point, you've shown the universe that you're serious and it will bring you the resources and ideas to accomplish your goal. I think you're going to find just to keep a goal as a hope without the commitment, nothing much is going to happen. 
Once you make that commitment, though, chanting about it will bring you the ideas and changes needed to move forward. If you have a dream and you've made that commitment, once you start taking the steps to achieving that dream, you're going to have to come out of your comfort zone, which means dealing with fears. Growth usually means having fears, as we're having to do things we've never done before. And as we all know, fears can slow us down or derail us from taking action altogether. And of course, if we don't act, our goals take longer or don't happen at all. So when these fears come up, chant for courage and then take the action while you're feeling courageous. Here's another important reason our goals might take a long time. We achieve what we can believe and see. Since we're connected inwardly with the generative power of the universe itself, we create our lives through our beliefs. Our beliefs create a set point that works very much like a thermostat. If we chant for a very large income, but we don't have the skills or the belief down deep that it's possible, our inner resistance won't allow us to earn more than we truly believe we can. Now, when you chant about a goal such as this, you're going to get smaller steps to get you there. And when you take action on those steps, remember action, you will move forward toward the larger goal. A goal such as this might take a much longer time as skills are developed and greater degrees of believing are grown and expanded. Now, if we say we want to do spiritual practice, but the truth of our life is although we hope, but don't truly believe that a spiritual side to ourselves is real, we might not see results. If you're a rank materialist, what would happen to you and what you believe if the actual practice actually produced results? The universe in accord with the concept of oneness of life and its environment creates and presents to us exactly what we truly believe. You know, this practice requires that we change our whole life view from relying on our cultural and social training, which tell us that our circumstances determine what we can do, to learning to rely on the universe, despite how our circumstances appear. If life is not working out the way you'd hoped, be gentle with yourself and understand that you're engaged in an enormous mental shift. The world around you is always pulling you away from your spiritual training, back to looking to circumstances to determine what you can do. So just sit down and self-reflect. Chant to be shown if you're resisting change and growth in some area, and then listen and act on that first idea that comes to you. In summary, we discussed first, chanting is not magic and you must take action. Second, are you listening to or dismissing the ideas that come to you for one reason or another? Third, are you recognizing an answer when it comes? Or fourth, are you talking yourself out of the ideas that have come to you because of cultural training? Fifth, have you set your vision, made a determination, chanted for courage when you encounter fears? Sixth, our beliefs create a set point that the universe reflects back to us. And seventh, be gentle with yourself. This is an enormous mental shift that you're making. I love your comments and questions and thank you for all the ideas that you've given me for these videos. Keep them coming. And I'll see you again the first Thursday of next month.